it, is it cheating if you let someone buy you things because they like you, but you're in a relationship and you do not disclose with your significant other that a stranger that's interested in you is buying you gifts. Absolutely no. not. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. I'm an influencer. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely People buy me not. stuff all the time. No. Now imagine if the scenario was flipped and you pop up with some new J's that some chick bought you without your girl knowing. She gonna be like, What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the You got a better chance of converting a Christian to Islam than you do convincing your girl that you ain't cheating. In this video, all the ladies have one thing in common. They name is Adeline, because they ass is Adeline for getting online and showing why the world laughs at modern women. Unpopular opinion, but I literally think that women should be paid to exist. What? But no, follow me on this. Follow me on this. Our bodies literally create life, y'all. Oh my god! Wow! Like, it beats any freaking invention that a man can come up with. Like, any tech company. Like, no. And then even women who, like, are, have already had children. They should still get paid because guess what? Like, the life of a mother... Like, that's a whole job within itself. I literally think that we should receive monthly incomes for being women. She, 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 she. Fellas, avoid chicks too damn lazy to come up with something smart to say. Avoid chicks so damn lazy they look for an excuse to get some money for nothing. That personality is why I say avoid the lazy chick in my video about the top 10 reasons why your girl is secretly your enemy. Link in the description below. And while you down there, don't act like her and be too lazy to hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe so my videos can get pushed by the algorithm so everybody can enjoy laughing at these out of lines. Hell, she was too lazy to wash her face and do her hair before making that dang TikTok video. So you know her people. PH is more unbalanced than the woman in this clip. Where are the men that actually care about emotional connection? They're in your friend zone. Like, where are the men that actually want to build something with their person? Have you tried your friend zone? Like, where? Where are they? I'm sure the dude in your friend zone is like... Heads up to the top, Samoa Joe. <laughs> because I don't understand... I don't understand. It's just like that's long gone. Emotional, spiritual, and mental connection is completely fucking gone, apparently. And all they really care about is physical attraction and gaining physical attention. So I don't know what kind of world we're living in, but honestly, if someone is not willing to connect on a mental, spiritual level, like it's just not happening. I'm sorry. Apparently, that's being unrealistic nowadays. You know what else is unrealistic? Being the exact guy she's describing and expecting not. To end up in her friend zone see some men learn young and others learn the hard way in the bible eve defied adam and god just to entertain the lofty ideas of some snake that means that even in a perfect scenario even if you were the perfect dude women with the jezebel mindset will always find a reason to defy you and jezebel's love snakes that's probably why jezebel was depicted with a snake in her hands and jezebel's always end up single mothers it's just it's so rough being a single mom especially when you co-parent with the person that hurt you and they don't see no wrong in their doings and everything is just always your fault you let them hit it raw you didn't have second thoughts now you a single mom now you a single mom he said you gonna have his kid don't care if he's here or not but now you a single mom now you a single mom meanwhile uh, I'm, I'm single and uh, i'm just looking for somebody who likes to have i'm just looking for somebody who likes to have fun and is a fun loving type gal 
uh, brunettes are something, and, and so are redheads or blondes. That's uh, uh, tall women or short, because height is in the eye of the beholder. If you think about it, because someone who likes me for me is who I'm looking for, because I'm, I'm that type of guy who likes me when you... And we could go out and do all kinds of things. I like uh, all kinds of music. What I really want is someone who will call me and, and will love me because I'm everyone I know is married and I'm, I don't know anybody or anything and it's just not right when... Because I deserve love like anybody else. I don't need to rummage through that dumpster for a playboy. God! I got you. Clear as day, cabron. I saw you smile a smirker. <clears throat> Too late. Get on the bus. We're going straight to hell. No excuses. Go. And you better not have laughed at him. He was a good man. He was just frustrated. Plus, it's allergy season. And you all know there's plenty of women out there that are allergic to good men. When they get around a good man... I just, you know, start sneezing. You can't, you constantly saying cheating, 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 cheating. But why was I cheating? Why wasn't but I with I, you? I, it don't even matter why? no more. Why, why? would you because have you a kid wasn't with there. my homeboy? You boy. act like you do not want a family. I you don't. act like you don't no, want to get married. All you want to do is shot me with okay, many cars and stuff all these like that. Console, I want kids. Leave, I want a family. Okay, I want love. And we're going to have, have that. And we're going to have that. You're the one who's the Mario is out the question. He's out the question. Mario's child is in your stomach. What are you talking about? And you're going to take care of it. Take care of it. Why? Why can't you take care of it? We need I'm to go in the house. You got me arguing outside with these families. See, this is what I'm saying. You got me doing all this ghetto mess. Bruh. Ghetto mess. You cheated on no, me with my homeboy. We've been cool since seventh grade. You... We done all went to home. Okay, come together, that's prom, all of that. That's who you just... All I'm telling you, all you do is send money, buy me this, buy me that. Bruh, that's what everyone wants. What are you complaining for? Because like, I, I want, want kids. Grateful. I want to go And you're about to have a kid. So go in the car and go be with the man that you about to have a kid We're going to have this family. No, we're going in the house and we're going to talk about this. What and we're going to so be a family. Right. We, no, there's no you're being there's delusional. No you're no being weed. crazy. There's, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing. Why are you acting like this? Why are you looking, acting like this? I don't care about the neighbors. Please just go get in your car. I don't want nothing to do with you. And they're going to know we're going to have a family. Oh, my God. Now, this is a level 99 Adeline. Fellas, I shouldn't have to tell you if she's taking another man's skeet. She belongs to the streets. Any woman that tries to justify why she cheats. She belongs to the streets. If her name is Shaniqua, Shanene, Nicole, or Monique. She belongs to the streets. You will not be wrong. Sending her back to where she belongs. Happy Black History Month! Oh, why do all black people have nightmares only? Because the only one who had a dream got shot! Twenty twenty four has just started, and I'm already seeing black women with non black men. Okay, <laughs> I was at the gym, just saw another sister with a brad. So let me just get to the point. The point is, is when I told y'all that you're going to start seeing more black women dating out, I meant it. 2024, you are going to start seeing more sisters in interracial relationships. It just is what it is. Okay, so get ready for it. Prepare yourself and, and put a smile on your face when you see it, boo, because ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it, okay? <laughs> you serious? Oh yeah, she's dead serious. These swirl queens really think these white kings want them for something more than just a rumble in the jungle. White kings, please do us black kings a favor and give these swirl queens free cellular so they can call somebody that give a damn. Am I tripping? Are these people in the ambulance? Yes, operator, can you please send an ampanimance? No, an ampanimance. If you're talking to a guy that claims to be interested in dating you and you say something like, oh, I'm going to get my nails done or my hair, I'm going to the mall, and he does not offer to send you money to contribute to that, 
you need to block him and you need to block him quickly okay we don't have time to be talking to men that cannot contribute to our lives even in the smallest of ways not in this economy but in that economy you still managing to pay for the same herd that some poor indian girl went bald for and somehow miraculously you still can afford those feed me seymour feed me little shop little shop of horror eyelashes if my tip ain't made a contribution to your throat, don't expect my pockets to. Fellas, y'all keep simping, y'all gonna end up in a situation like this. Nobody likes to get their time wasted, period. So a guy takes a girl out on a first date, spends $1,100 on the bill. Come on, man, damn. No brainer. That's OD. The girl gets her ex to come pick her up from the date. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! And he doesn't hear from this girl again. Duh. And he files a lawsuit to sue her Good. for wasted time. Mm. What do we think about this? I think that dude learned the consequences of being a simp. Fellas, remember, if she's being difficult about a date, always have a backup to replace. You know it's like a park in his pocket and see. Does anybody else that's like in their 20s like not relate to their teenage self like at all? Like for some context, I used to do and like purposely get hit by cars. Jesus Christ. And that's somebody's future mother. Now you know where all them purple herd liberals get their wisdom from. This is the neighborhood and you are not welcome. That's why I need to be here. <laughs> We need Jesus, ma'am. He can save you. He can give you a new heart. God can give you a new heart so that you love what God loves. No, that's irrational. Shut up, bitch! We live in a society where women go the majority of their lives never hearing the word no. Fellas, it's your job to be sure to teach women while they're young that they can't have everything they want. Oops, sorry, um, would you mind if we switch seats just for this last part? She really likes to watch out the window as we land, and it helps calm her down. Yeah, no, even if I wanted to switch, I think it's more important that your daughter learn a valuable lesson. That's not how the world works, you know, you don't always get your way. Are you for real, dude? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sensational. But anyway, man, that's the video for today. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the damn video. Be sure to click here to see how Dre and Michelle became a level 99 out of line in America. If you're missing my shorts, be sure to hit me up on Instagram at NGE underscore never good enough. And if you want to do some business with me, be sure to hit me up on my email at NGE never good enough at gmail.com. And remember, become the change you want to see. It's your boy, NGE. Peace.